My dad and mom were both big coffee drinkers, my dad especially. And I have a memory of him working in his office in the morning and he would come down at 10 o'clock and he would always grab a cup of coffee and grab whatever sweet treat my mom had in the house and he would take a little treat and go back up and continue to work. There's something comforting about coffee, isn't there? Well, I don't like a regular cup of coffee. Being the little princess I am, I want a latte all the time. To have a latte, you need an espresso machine. To have an espresso machine, you need a lot of money and then they break down and they're not reliable. Well, my friend Nida introduced me to the very best way to have a cup of coffee and I'm gonna show you today. It won't break the bank and it's every bit as good as the lattes you get in the store. So the first thing you want when you're getting the perfect cup of coffee is you want your mug. I love Redware mugs. I love the way they feel. I love how they feel so primitive. This is actually a mug from the original Pancake House in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And this is my favorite mug in all the world because I like the size. See how I can just slip my hand in here and I can cup the top here, safely hold this and just kind of cup it. There's something so comforting about cupping mugs. Right, Sherry? I love this. So this is the mug that I'm gonna use to make my espresso coffee. Next thing I'm gonna do is, you gotta find some really good coffee. We do it with coffee beans because coffee beans will stay fresh longer and we get gourmet coffee beans. We always get fair trade and we go to a local business. This business is called Borealis. It's out of Rhode Island and they make the best coffee beans ever. And so we get all our coffee beans from them. We either drive to get them, we have our daughter pick them up for us, or we send for them. You can actually order at least uh, three bags of coffee beans and he will ship them to your home. So if you're looking for really good beans, Borealis, wonderful. All right, next thing you need for that great pampering cup of coffee is some kind of flavoring. I use this, it's classic caramel syrup, it's sugar free. I don't wanna put sugar in my coffee at all. So I use this just a little bit on the bottom. I don't use near as much as I use in the coffee shops, but it gives me just enough flavor for me to feel like it's a really good latte. So if you start with really good coffee, and we have a coffee grinder. This is a bean grinder. It takes just a minute to grind your beans. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. And then you always have fresh ground beans. So you have your flavor, your fresh ground coffee beans, and this, this is oat milk. I also have this on an Amazon link, but I go with this Chobani or with the Oatly oat milk and it makes the best froth. Now you can use soy milk, you can use regular milk too, that'll make good froth. But if you're not a dairy drinker, the best milk to go with for your coffees is oat milk. And this is the piece de resistance. This is an Italian coffee maker. This is actually a six cup but I'd say this is a personal size. This will be enough for one person for one, one cup. So this is a six cup coffee maker and they're so easy to use. They're inexpensive to purchase. I do have a link, an Amazon link in my description box. Check that out. And they're very simple. So all you have is the place to put your coffee, the place to put your water, and then you screw it in really good, put it on medium heat, and you let it perk all the way up so that your coffee comes out here. Now it takes about uh, five or 10 minutes to make your coffee. I have currently one going right behind me. I don't know if you can see it, but this is a larger cup size. This is a 12 cup size. And right now you can see that it's percolating and I could actually turn it down a little bit more but it's perking and what we're gonna do is wait for all the water to come out of there and go up to here. See, you kinda of wanna watch this cause you don't want to end up with no water in there and burn the bottom. Okay, this is pretty much done. You can tell because there's not a lot of steam coming out anymore. See that? And you don't hear a lot of boiling. So then you know it's done. You wanna remove it from the heat. Turn your heat off. And now you have your nice hot cup of coffee. Oh. So since that's ready, we've got the bagels in the toaster. And 
And I'm going to hit start. And this is going to take a minute to go. So you can see right now it's starting to froth up. And it's twirling around and it's warming it really nicely. Before lattes, I didn't drink coffee. And I can thank my sister for getting me hooked. She used to take me to Starbucks all the time and tell me what to order. And eventually I developed a taste for it. In the meantime, let's pour the coffee. But you don't go all the way up because you just pour as much as you want. And then I'm going to let the rest be froth. And this just turned off. So I'm going to dump the froth into here. Now watch this. Mmm. Delicious. And here you have it, the perfect latte. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. Mmm. These look good too. We all have stories about coffee, don't we? Coffee, uh, my dad and his coffee drinking habits. Many of the stories that I think about are my sister who passed a few years ago. And she is the one that taught me how to drink coffee and taught me how to get lattes and have different specialty coffees from Starbucks. And she just got me hooked. And um, a couple days after my sister passed, I actually went to a Starbucks on the way to her house it wasn't a Starbucks that she ever went to. It was far enough from her house that she wouldn't have gone there. But I ordered a coffee and I gave them my name. And they said, what was that, Lori? And the weird thing is my sister's name is Lori. And I always think about that when I get my coffee. I always think about, what was that? Like some kind of scrambling? What was that? That they heard her name when I gave them my name. wonder anyway you guys I hope you enjoy your lattes these are so good and please leave a comment below and tell me how you like your coffee